Adam Lerner, BrooklynPhotoWorks.com, and today I want to share with you guys something so cool that I found on Squarespace's website, okay? Now, you guys know that I'm a huge Squarespace fan. In fact, I redid my entire photography portfolio with Squarespace, and I even have a 10% off code for any of you guys that are looking to do a Squarespace website, and that code is ADAM. Squarespace.com slash ADAM, or at the end of your two-week trial period, just enter the code ADAM, and you will get 10% off your Squarespace website. So let's get back to this really cool thing. This thing is called Logos. Now before I get there, I just want to talk to you guys about this. A lot of you guys are putting together these beautiful new websites. I'm getting tons of emails from you guys and I couldn't be happier to see you guys putting your work online. It makes it real. Okay, now, so many of you guys need a logo or want a logo, but getting a logo made is very expensive. So Squarespace just has this logo generator thing built into their website and it's either free or it's a couple dollars. Now it's free if you're a Squarespace subscriber, you get a free logo. If you're not a Squarespace subscriber, it's 10 bucks. Okay, 10 bucks for a logo seems really wicked cheap to me. Or you can just get it for free with a watermark if you don't feel like paying the 10 bucks and you're not a subscriber. But let's get to it. Okay, so you click on this little menu item here and you go to logos. Boom just like that. Now, what it first does for you is that it gives you this little thing here where you can just type in your logo name. So I'm going to put in my name. Boom. And I'm just going to hit the little arrow key right here. And what it does is it takes me to this template editor. Okay, so it's already put my name, which is the title up here. And then it says search for symbols. Okay, so let's say I wanted to do something motorcycle related. Okay, I'm just going to type in the word motorcycle and it will look at all this it picks up picks up all of these icons let's say i wanted to do something that was brooklyn related okay i'm just going to show you guys really quick and there you go hey look it's mostly food i guess brooklyn's known for food um let's say i wanted to do photography related uh there it is hey and it comes up with a bunch of cameras. I mean, how cool is that? Okay. So, all right, let's just keep the, the, uh, we're going to keep my name there and we'll just grab a camera and, um, we'll just go from there. So, uh, what do we want here? Uh, I don't know. Um, let's see something that looks very cool. You know, I'm kind of leaning toward this little range findery looking jobby right there. Poop. Yeah, there you go. Real basic, nothing too special, nothing too. Although I kind of like this little, Hasselblad guy. Anyway, let's go with the Hasselblad. Okay, perfect. Right there. Okay, so we're going to take that. Now look what happens. Okay, I'm just dragging things on the grid. Okay, now if you look at the edges of this, you can drag the edges to resize it. So let's say you wanted this to be a nice big camera like that and you want it to like, let's say, spit out my name. Okay, you can just line it up like that. How cool is that? You know, and let's say we wanted to maybe change the font family to a different thing, you know, something a little groovier. Hey, hey, now, how about that? That's pretty cool. Now, if I think it's a little big, I'm just going to drag this puppy down. Just drag it down. There we go. Just put that guy right in there. Boom. There you go. And um, if I wanted to change the font color, I can change that over here. If I wanted to make it bold, I can make it bold. If I wanted to change it to italic, I can make it italic. That's pretty groovy. And then you can also add a tagline. So if I wanted to say like New York City photographer, boom, it's right in there. I can just grab that guy and I can just put that up there. I can drag it and I can put it anywhere I want. And you can see how the lines justify at the end over here or at the top of this graphic. I mean, it's really cool the way it does that. And let's say I wanted to change the, uh, the font over there and I want to do something that just varied a little bit from what I just put up there. Um, I would just grab a different font and I'm just thinking about it, looking, 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 looking. Maybe something like that, nice and clean. Yeah, that's good right there. Hey, yeah, look at that. There you go. Well, I'm not sure if I love that kind of popping out of there. Maybe just line that guy up over there. Put this thing down here. You know, something like that. Maybe give him a little room so he's not cramping on that guy's style. And there you go. You got a little little logo action. Adam Lerner, New York City photographer. Boom. Okay, very, very, very cool. Now, what do I want to do with this thing? Okay, now, um, if I want to preview this and see what it would look like at a, as a business card, 
it's here. If I want to preview it and look at it as a home screen of my computer, of my website, it's here and it, as a t-shirt. So look, look at that. You click on that, boom, that shows you what it's going to look like when you throw it on a business card. Then you click a little, you know, to the next arrow. That shows you what it would look like as your landing page on your website, okay? And then if you click again, it shows you what it's going to look like as a t-shirt. Okay, great. Good, I'm done with that. So now if I want to save the logo, I hit save logo. Now here you go. Okay, so remember, if you're not a square if you're not a Squarespace subscriber and you don't feel like forking over the 10 bucks, you can just download a low res version of it that's uh, 368 by 400. So it's going to be like a little icon bug. It's going to be free, it's going to have a watermark. If you are a Squarespace subscriber or you want to pay for it, you click on that and you can either just enter your info right there and you'll get an email right away with all the download links. If you are an existing Squarespace subscriber, you just put in your info here and I'll just let Safari do the heavy lifting for me. You go download for free and boom. Here we go. And what it's going to do is going to send me three versions. Okay, it's going to send me a link to download these three versions. It's going to send me a link where it has um, a color version. So if I actually did color version, like let's say I did color elements where I changed it, that would be that download. Then it's going to give me a white on black and it's going to give me a black on white okay and they're png files so they work really well um, with web and all that kind of stuff they're a really good size so they're good enough for printing and all that kind of thing and there it is that's what you have it and while i was going blah 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 with this whole deal right here i already got the email from squarespace with the download link so there you have it squarespace logos free right on their website completely awesome just another thing that squarespace does that i think is so super cool don't forget that if you do want a squarespace and you want to get 10 percent off that the uh, code there is adam squarespace.com slash adam that's it for now if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and we'll see you soon mm -hmm.